Welcome to the Phoenix Empath Intuitive. We sometimes give our light and energy to people who never really see our worth. And sometimes we have to discover how to take our power and energy back by using affirmations, visual inspiration, oracles, and meditation. I am here to give you motivation on how the past is always our teacher and we can learn from each other. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys and I truly love you. So what I'm going to do now is that we know that there's been some kind of breakup, right? We know that there's been some kind of breakup. They know We know that there's been a new perspective and maybe a fresh start. There were secrets that happened uh, in regards to a promise and the affection. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my breakup deck. Not my breakup deck, but a breakup deck. The priorities. We're going to clarify priorities. Priorities come out with strategizing, sorry. It says, I'm coming up with a plan and an offer you can't refuse. So this person is thinking about what they've done in the past. And then, okay, all of those cards just tried to come out, but didn't. Hold on one second. Yeah, this person is thinking about what it is that happened in the past. And, you know... Maybe they're trying to do something about it. Dreams, you know, or maybe it's something that they regret. Dreams comes with true love. Yeah, this person knew that you were their true love. But again, and they're dreaming about you. The promise. So let's clarify the promise. You know, the thing is, is that if this person, they can, they can have all the dreams and strategize and figure out where the priorities were and what 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 happened and all this other stuff they have to heal they need to heal they need to figure out what it is that they really want sorry i'm cutting my heater on what it is that they really want and the promise that they made to you double life they're not living a double life anymore so and this came in reverse i'm living a double life and i'm different i'm a different person in each one so this person has stopped whatever it is that they were doing with the promise that was there they've stopped living a double life drama they got rid of the drama i have too much drama in my life i'm trying to stay out of it so the promise that they made um was lies at one point and they realized they're practicing forgiveness and they want you to practice forgiveness because they realize that you are their true love, if that makes sense. The secrets. The secrets. Yeah. They're, this person has changed the way that they were doing things in the past. Maybe because, again, you've been removing yourself, you know. And if it's not you, you're thinking about removing yourself from this situation. Secrets came out with overthinking. I'm driving myself crazy. Thoughts of you keep consuming me. So they know that they had secrets. And that's the reason why they're changing up. They're changing up their energy because they know that they had secrets. And now that they're changing up, they're coming up with a plan. They want you to forgive them. And they're practicing not necessarily forgiveness, but they want you to practice forgiveness and forgive them for the breakup and why you did the things. Yeah, it can't be trusted. They realized that they couldn't be trusted. There also was work. I've been keeping from my keeping myself busy with work and improving my finances. So, you know, they couldn't be trusted at one point. That's why you broke up freedom. I want the freedom of, to pursue my own happiness right now. That could be your energy, but that could be where the, what they were saying to you and why they had all these different things going on. Triggered is here. You know, triggered is here. I feel, yeah, partying. This triggered you. Partying, but it came in the reverse. Part Been partying with my friends uh, to avoid being alone at home. So this was what they were doing, but now they're coming towards you. Does that make sense? Uh, the fresh start. The fresh start. You know, they want a fresh start with you, but they had to figure out how to do that. They had to understand why we, yeah, escapism, drinking. You know, they're changing up drinking. Uh, drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs the mental agony. Fresh start. So that's the reason why they want to have a fresh start with you. Because the mental agony is coming from you separating yourself. Healing. They're healing now. So they're realizing all of the toxicity that they caused you. They're going through something now. Does that make sense? And so now they're trying to heal. Two cards flew out. Where is it at? Oh. 
And then he, okay, no. Uh, telepathy. Yeah, the healing comes by you loving them in the, three, in the 5D, not in the 3D anymore. I close my eyes and speak to you in hundreds of silent ways because they know that you're, t that you're an empath and that you feel the things that they have going on. And so they know that. So, yeah, I just feel like you've been living with them through the 5D, and now they're experiencing that. That healing that you've been doing, they are experiencing that. Every time they think about you and every time you think about them, you're sending healing their way, and they think about you telepathically. And so it says, I close my eyes and speak to you in a hundred silent ways because they probably didn't speak to you and tell you how they really felt, only you. It says, I'm not seeing anyone else if that's what you're wondering. So they could, they probably aren't seeing anyone else. But again, the affection is, the affection has always been towards you. It's just that they used all this distraction to, to not be a part of what you wanted, which was a, a love distraction is the love triangle affection. Yeah. I've been seeing someone else and I'm having trouble choosing. So now they don't have a trouble. They don't have trouble anymore because they realize out of all the end all be all you were the one, the new perspective. Yeah. They're having a new perspective about everything. So breaking point was here and then can't move on. It says, I can't move on no matter how hard I try. So the new perspective is letting them know in the breaking point. I'm reaching my breaking point. I feel pushed to make decisions. So they had to sit back and try to see about this love triangle, what they wanted to do. Relax. Relax. The relax comes with two cards fly out. I just threw them up in the reverse. But uh the relax comes with uh, forever change. You've changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. Yeah. So because you love this person in the 5D, you know, hard to read. You confuse me. You give me mixed signals because you're over it. You're over this situation, this conflict, all of this stuff. Like you don't want to be in conflict with the person that you love. You know, you don't want to be in conflict. Uh, so you're like, you know what? The time is not right. You have, you need, oh, two cards. I didn't even see that. You need to grow up. Yeah, fighting it. It says the harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. Look at this. That tells you. He's just like, oh, why do we keep arguing? But you're like, you know what? I'm over it. The timing isn't right. Not not the right time. Isn't that what they tell you? And now you're telling them that. And that's why you, you've moved away. Way. unsent messages trust i've written you several texts but in the end i chicken out the trust they have to be able to trust you with their feelings and they are not and so that is where they are now you know they're practicing this thing called love because at one point the love triangle they felt like it was something that um they couldn't live without was this love triangle, but they're at their breaking point. And they, they realize that they can't move on from you and they're fighting it. You know, they were fighting it that you had so much of a hold uh, um, on them, you know, without even trying. You just were being yourself. And now they realize when you, when they look at everything, this is from the messages of love. You know, they realize that when uh, all is said, yeah, they had a narrow vision or narrow view when it came to how they wanted to do with this thing called love, deal with this thing called love because they weren't looking at it like love, but now they are. Now the financial problems, the financial strains and money problems and the survival is here because they can't think straight, you know? So they got to trust that, you know, all the hidden feelings, the secrets, the illusions that they are going through. And like it says, the unsent messages, they chicken out to see in order to in, and don't send them it's because of the fact that they can't they've never trusted in anyone and, and now they're trusting in you and they can't understand how you know at one point they couldn't see because now all they can do is think about you if that makes sense hold on let me see you can see this yeah if that makes sense that's all they can do is think about you all what is that song all i want is you girl M miguel Mm, mm, mm. all I want is you so that's just kind of how I see this energy you know they're strategizing trying to come up with ways to get you back into their lives you know no more partying no more uh love triangles you know they can't move on you know it's like you know they work harder and harder and they just want to feel free when it comes to at one point they wanted to be, feel free but they stopped partying they started drinking a little bit more and then they realized that all they want was you and because you healed by you healed yourself and by you healing yourself you turned around and loved this person from the 5d from a distance because they weren't in your grasp if that makes sense because they didn't they didn't want to love you the way you wanted to be loved this is from the messages of love energy uh to see 
what needs to come out. Yeah, because they realize that you're you're their true love. Um, yeah, and they've been fighting it for so long and trying to not say anything. But yeah, they've been in denial. Uh, and you listen, they've been in denial, and therefore you had to walk away from this person. Forgiveness, forgiving yourself and another will help you move forward. I told you, if you forgive them, you'll move forward. Forward, children. Children are important to this partnership. They could have had children with this third party energy. You know, uh, denial, detached with love to clearly see the truth. And so that's what you did. That's what you did. And now they regret. It says regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. That's why they can't get you off their mind. They they realize that they really do trust you, and that's why they keep calculating to send a message to you, and you know can't seem to see think can't seem to understand why they can't get you off their mind. Because when you heal and you forgive somebody, you forgive them, and it's like every time you forgive them, you send that uh, energy to them, and they feel that, and then it makes them feel empty without you. You don't understand that, but when you keep calling and trying to argue and trying to prove your point then you know what that gives them that adds fuel to their fire and that gives them no reason to have to heal and so that's what you have to understand when it comes to these situations it says uh, the children are an important part of this relationship so either you have children with them or this person had children with this love triangle and they felt like you know the affection couldn't be there because they had children with this person that they felt at some point loyal to or like they had to um, be around because of the fact that um, this person, you know, at one point uh, understood and accepted all the shit that they went through, went, went, or went, did and sent them through. Does that make sense? So I just feel like that's the case. I'm going to go ahead and pull tarot to see where we are. Uh, let me get a deck. I feel like I want to put um, the song... Uh, by Miguel on here, the one I'm trying to tell you, all I want is you. I'm gonna put that in the um, description. I put it in the in the comments. But I'm gonna clarify this children, the forgiveness and the denial. I'm gonna clarify this energy, but um, I'm also going to pull from the archetype deck because we can see the type of person that you're dealing with. Well, we already know, but we'll just see what messages come out. Yeah, because I just feel like this person didn't realize the pull that you had. And this is, you know, why you needed to walk away from this person so they can realize that. You know, when it comes to breakups, you know, um, breakup to makeup, that's all we do. Um, who is that? Uh, I can't think of that song. But first you love me, then you hate me. That's a game for fools. You know, that is basically what you've been going through. Breakup to makeup. You know, the unsent messages, the calculator, you know, losing finances, both on your part and theirs. You know, now theirs because they see what you were going through and what they pulled you through or what they put you through. So that's just kind of how I see that energy, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the archetype deck. Here, let's put that there. Because they had a narrow vision when it came to you. Let's see if you could see that. They had a narrow vision when it came to dealing with you. They didn't think that, you know... Things were going to end up the way that it did and the feelings will be there. So once you forgive them, once you forgave them, shall I say, and you didn't know that you were forgiving them and what it was, it was just like, it was so much energy for you to have to deal with them, you know, and try to explain because you did it years, years, break up to make up. That's the thing for, that's the game for fools. I'll put both of those. I think if the, I can find that. Makeup to makeup. That's a, a game for fools. I got to ask my mom what the name of that song is. I'm going to put breakup to makeup. I'm writing it down. And all I want is you. And breakup to makeup is the old song. My mom used to listen to that when she was younger. But being her kid, we had to listen to it as well. So I'm going to pull this energy first. And oh, wait. No, I said I was going to pull from the archetype deck. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pull from the archetype deck to see the energies, and then I'll pull tarot. But yeah, I just feel like that is uh, the Capricorn and the caregiver tried to come out when I was uh, trying to split the card deck in half. You know, the priorities, uh, the dreams, the promises, the card that came out is the Sagittarius. So maybe you're dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, you know, 
I just kind of feel like when it comes to this situation, you understand what you went through and you understand the pull that this person had on you. But now they're understanding the pull that 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 you know you have on them. And that's where the breakup to makeup song is coming in because you know it's the game for fools. And so that's what you have to realize. Uh, that this, yep, look at that, the goddess. You stopped feeling like a goddess when it came to dealing with this person, place, thing, or situation. You stopped feeling like that, and therefore, you know, you had to regain your crown back. A card flew out. Let me see what card this is. Sorry. Um, trickster, yeah. You had to gain, you had to regain your abilities to see clearly that's why financials is here you know when it comes to something affecting your financials because this person had you not thinking straight priorities comes out with fire in reverse you could be dealing with the fire sign right and so that is the thing that i'm trying to get you to understand when you're dealing with a certain person that has not healed or doesn't know the things that they really want out of life you know then it starts to feel a little like um you're like um, I want to say, I want to say vindictive, but it's not, it's not, I don't know. It, it's not being vindictive. It's just that you are, you know, feeling the need to have to fight with the person and tell this person how you deal with or how you want things to be. Or, you know, the fire energy could be an emperor type energy. You know, the fire energy could be, you know, um, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So that could be the type of energy that's being uh, portrayed towards you. You know, like somebody wanting to argue, somebody wanting to tell you, you know, Leo energy, feeling like they're strong and they don't have to deal with this type of situation. Sagittarius temperance, that they the ones who balance the scales out. So your priorities don't be, are not important to theirs. You know, their priorities are more. So I was clarifying dreams and the card, two cards came out. I don't like the way my cards just come out. The Shadow King. Yeah, the dreams. They've changed the way they, the toxicity and how they do things and the creative. You know, your dreams were shattered. Your dream, dreams felt shattered when it came to dealing with this person. The promise, you know, the promise. The promise is the clinger. They promised you something and you clinged on to that. You held on to the promises, the secrets. The secrets, you know, like, again, this person, yeah, detective, you play detective, and you know how they say, if you look for something, you'll find it, so you probably found out about the third-party situations, and that's what caused the breakup, okay, first of all, the breakup comes with the Virgo energy, so you could be dealing with the Virgo, hermit energy, or you could have retreated from distraction to determine your own truth of how you felt in regards to this breakup, you know, triggered. What triggered you? You know, you had to understand, yeah, the hot nerd triggered you in a Taurus. That could be a Taurus that you've been dealing with. That's what could have triggered you. A hot nerd, somebody who felt like they were God's gift to green earth, and then they could have been a Taurus or had Taurus energy um, in their chart, you know? So, you know, the fresh start comes, and Taurus is like hierophant energy, you know? So, um, their belief systems, you know, the Taurus, the way the Taurus, if this could be the hierophant, but the way the Taurus believed in themselves or how they believe things should be, like you should just wait on them. So again, they could have Taurus in their chart or be it is, could be higher for energy, your belief system, you know, hermit energy, retreating from distraction to determine your own truth. You play detective. You understand that this person has changed. But again, you have to figure out what it is that you want and so that's why you're having a fresh start maybe with them leo energy is here strength um i said this was the fire energy so we got uh leo leo is on the board you know so far we have taurus Vir you know virgo i said taurus taurus virgo <laughs> healing comes in you know so strength is not always physical your patience compassion and compassion and gentle spirit is what makes you strong not the sharpness of your words the visionary you lost your vision when it came to how you were with this person and so you had to heal from this situation the affection earth energy just tried to come out the affection the way this person was affectionate with you yeah it was like they had too many scars on the outside they had scars on the outside and they had their own opinion you know the sage energy is somebody who can you know um 
kind of kind of reminds me of the witcher if you guys watch the witcher but the sage energy is somebody who is knowledgeable somebody who can lead everybody somebody who has scars and has experience but they don't have experience when it comes to affection how love and things like that so you had to see things from a new perspective or maybe they did okay first of all all of these cards tried to come out and I'm not taking them. Look, Libra, Dancer, Mother, Shadow Queen, Caregiver, Trickster. Those are all of the qualities that you were to this person. Codependent, Scorpio Energy. You could have Scorpio in your chart. I'm trying to catch these before they fall. Uh, the Victim. You know, they could have been the victim. You could have been the victim. Achiever. The Water Energy tried to come out. Player Energy. You know, Extrovert. Gypsy Soul. Goddess. Sabotage. You know, Gemini performer vampire water energy it ends off with water energy when it comes to the perspective oh wait there's one more card on the floor you know you had to realize what your perspective was when it came to this a new perspective when it came to all these different emotions your higher self yeah so if i was to take all of these which i told you what they were so i don't feel like there's a need your, no, I am going to take them because it's your perspective. It's your perspective. It's no one else's perspective but yours, right? So the addictions, codependent relationships could be dealing with a uh, Capricorn, right? Um, the Scorpio energy, you know, toxic death energy, you know? Remember, uh, with the death card, embrace the embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you death is not the end it's a transformation that brings new beginnings this person playing a victim when you bring things up when you do your research and ask them they could be achievers so they could think that they're god's gift to green earth the player energy they could be a player third party came out somebody who feel like they're knowledgeable they're expert ex extrovert because they like to go out you're the gypsy souls they like those mysterious type people and you could have been considered a goddess, you know? So when it comes to you being mysterious and like feeling that royalty, they had to learn how they sabotage the energy, right? So the perspective, a Gemini, you could have been dealing with a Gemini, somebody who was able to have two sides and perform. Does that make sense? Um, or a vampire, somebody that stays up all night and sleeps all day and water energy, you, you. So their perspective could be different when it comes to the you being the water energy because they see your higher self. They see that you're different from the rest. And that's what it said in the last card deck, the relax. So they're changing the way they do things. Relax now. Let's clarify relax. Yeah, they're changing the way they, yeah, with the secret loves. Relax, secret loves. So, you know, they're not, they're trying to change the way this situation is with the secret love card this person realizes that they have a secret love towards you and they want to you to trust in them and they're trying to trust in you because they see that the conflict caused you priestess in reverse high priestess in reverse or when you were younger it was okay but now that you're not young anymore you know it's causing conflict and they realize that the introvert you're an introvert they have to trust in you and the things that you do so the calculator comes with them losing their finances because they're not expressing their love to you because they have a limited vision but they regret the way they treated you and they don't know how it's going to be so this is all calculated to them and they realize um this energy so the denial the forgiveness and the children they could have a child a child involved i'm going to go ahead and pull from the what's the tea spill for the denial forgiveness and children to see because i feel as if okay these cards came out i feel yes yeah, seventh house and eleventh house this situation involves someone's partnership marriage business matters could be enemies depending on the situation and then eleventh house uh, one social groups friendships personal affiliates and social life so remember they're changing up their social life that's where the denial is at was at or whatever they forgiving they're forgiving certain things when it comes to you know uh how they treated you you know crying over someone they realize that they made you cry divorced broken relationships lost connections and severed ties they realize that you severed ties with them and they don't like that energy so when they send you for forgiveness they want you to forgive them not you not not you forgive wait they want you to forgive them 
not you to, no, you know what I'm trying to say, irresponsible for their irresponsibility, you know, lack of accountability, carelessness about consequences of their actions. You can't rely on them. So again, they want you to forgive them. The distorted masculine, come on, you guys, abuse of power, force, and domination, fear of weakness, competition driven, inability to praise one another. So, you know, oh, look, did you guys see this? I didn't even see these come out. Oh, I didn't even see none of these come out. Oh, wow. So toxic ways. They want you to forgive them from their toxic ways. Bad habits, addictions, can't stay away from harmful substance. Could be. Eighth house involves cycles. Yeah, the cycles that they were in and beginning. Death and rebirth. Someone's attitude towards change and personal growth because they weren't willing to change. Legal issues and bad contracts. They made a bad contract with third-party energies. Projecting, pointing at pointing out the actions of someone else, but really they are the things you do. So, you know, they were projecting things on you and confident. You might have lost your confidence. In fourth house, one sense of security, family, siblings, parents, and ancestries, heritage, roots, one's housing and comfort. You know, they felt like you were trying to take them out of their comfort zone. And that wasn't the case. You just loved them and wanted to be with them, if that makes sense. So I just feel like with all of these energies out here, you already know what this person is going through, you know, and it does not mean that, uh, you know, it's okay to um, forget about this. It means that you've forgiven this person for who they are, you know, all the sabotage and the addiction, the co addictions, the codependent relationships, maybe dealing with the Scorpio, playing the victim, achieving all their goals, players, extrovert, you know, always going out because that's what the other card said. They are not going out anymore and partying, you know, gypsy souls, you know, they like to deal with gypsies, the people that fly by night type, or you could be a gypsy, you know, that you are a goddess. They're realizing your worth, you know, they like the... Um, creativeness about you they know they like the way you you can walk in the room and people notice you you know the Gemini energy they were two-sided they realized that or this is a Gemini they performed and they lived a vampire nights up all night sleep all day or doing their own schedule the way that they want water energy you could be that water energy that they're talking about you know the new perspective they have the higher self you have loved them um, and showed them how it is to be um what is it mature and loving and understanding and caring and patient when it came to as long as you waited and now they're seeing a new perspective when it comes to you if that makes sense so now i'm gonna pull these up i'm not necessarily going to clarify these cards um here yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Because I was going to clarify these with tarot. The breakup. But let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. I just feel like the promises that this person didn't keep. You know, the, the way that they, you know, they realize where they are. You know, they realize where they are. They realize, you know the type of energy that they put out towards you and they realized that they had to change it. You know, I think I'm going to get energy about how you feel, how you feel. I think that's what I'm going to do is the energy about how you feel and maybe, um, so I'm going to pull from this deck. Um, whew, I don't know. Hopefully this is not in reverse. No, that card is in reverse. I want them to authentically turn in reverse if they need be. Hold on. Yeah, I just feel like this is not about, <clears throat> excuse me, this is not about, you know, I mean, you already know how they feel, you know, so me clarifying the, the, the types and things that they did, they've already proved to you here in this the, their cards that they understand where they went wrong. They understand that they were a distorted masculine or female. Take what resonates. You can switch the revolt, reverse the roles if, if need be. Uh, the priorities. You know, look, it dropped on top of the priority. Six of Pentacles, yeah. Your priorities were, you know, kind of wrong. Given to others wholeheartedly. Not wrong, but given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. Whether you're going through something or not. I said this the other day, the birds. You are still giving your last to the people who deserve it. And your priorities, that you wanted it to be family. The dreams, look at that. The dreams, 
are, yeah, your dreams. Teach yourself to believe. You're still going to keep that same energy when it comes to your dreams, your aspirations, the things that you want out of life. You're not going to let anybody stop you from achieving those dreams or those goals. You have to understand that, you know, people are going to be who they are. The promises, you know, broken promises. What is it? Promises you don't tend to keep. Okay, I really don't want to take these, but I will. Yeah, Six of Cups. This is the romance, the love, the nostalgia, the memories of somebody promising you things. And also, be happy in spite of everything. No matter what the promises were, you still have to be happy. And Three of Wands is going after the things that you want. Finding happiness and gratitude and offspring and finding the direction that you need to be in. You know, the emperor is having the strength and the power and the stability to make sure that you're getting through everything that you're going through. You know, the king of pentacles says there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities, create opportunities and don't be afraid to fail, you know, and invest your time wisely. So uh, page of cups energy, let your imagination run wild. Imagination is the fuel of dreams and dreams that fuel the creation when it comes to this energy. And the queen of cups is you, Cancer. The queen of cups when it comes to, you know, the promise. You have to promise yourself that you will, even though you look everybody through their eyes um, and um, make them feel important, you know, make them feel understood. You have to do that same thing to yourself as if you're looking at yourself in the mirror. You have to understand that this is something that you need to do, something that you don't really do all the time. You're always worried about everyone else. So when it comes to secrets and things like that, you know, and somebody breaking your heart, you overly give. And that's that. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that. So let me just tell you, we have the six of swords, we have the six of cups, and we have the six, six of swords, six of cups, and the six of pentacles, six, six, six. Sixes are returning to the state of harmony and balance. This is you balancing yourself out no matter the secrets that you went through. Six of swords energy is new beginnings, change, and new love. So you are, you have understood, you understood what it is that you needed to do. Five of cups energy. The five of cups is having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you to be sad. You're leaning on your friends and people for support to get you through, you know, the secrets that have been told, you know, the eight of cups energy. Again, you're walking away. Six of swords and eight of cups is basically the same thing. New beginning, walking away. You know, the eight of cups energy says, let go of what no longer, what does not serve you for, uh, and move forward to the next uh, chapter of your story. So again, you have to understand what it is that you're doing. The Five of Cups says, let me move this out the way. Uh, excuse me, the Five of Swords. Words can be as sharp as any blades. Hold on. Where, where am I at? Where am I at? I said Five of Swords. Six of Swords, sorry. Um, life is not about the journey. Here it is. Life is not about the journey. Uh, uh, life is about the journey, not the destination. Chart your course and trust that better times are ahead. So that is where you are right now. You're understanding that you have to walk away and understand why you're walking away. It's not even about the journey. You know, it's about you doing things that you need to do. You know, it's about the journey, not the destination, the journey that you're going on, you know, so you have to know that that's where you're at and what you're doing it for. Ten of Cups is happy life, happy wife. You know, the Ten of Cups is also love, satisfaction and harmony. That's what you're going after. You know, the secrets cause you to have to adventure and find something new. Hermit energy comes out again. Hermit energy is retreating from distraction to determine your own truth. That's what you're doing with those secrets. And the Three of Cups again. The Three of Cups is you having happiness, offspring, and gratitude when it comes to dealing with the situations that you've been handed. You're celebrating. You're using your friends to help you. Five of Cups is doing the same thing. But this time, you're like, I'm not going to sit down on this one. I'm going to get up and I'm going to party. I'm not going to let these things stop me. And I'm going to go ahead and understand that there is somebody out here who wants to have fun and hang out with me. You know, so I'm going to go to the hospital parties i'm gonna dress up like wonder woman because i am tough i am amazing i can go through this and i can get through it the breakup can be hard but i need to understand what the lesson is in this breakup okay so there's the lesson the lesson is yeah cold outside warm inside it's in reverse but it's cold here it is it's not just it's cold outside it's cold inside you know, it's cold inside and probably warmer outside. And that's why it came in reverse with the breakup. You know, the triggers, you know, you being triggered by 
whatever this person's actions are. Yeah, you being triggered by this person's actions. Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, feeling trapped, you know, uh, criticizing yourself, you know, sitting at the bus stop in the middle of the night with your suitcase, you know, overthinking like you're triggered. You don't know how to feel, you know, you don't know what to do. So the best thing you can do is just try to find a, a, a space of peace because that's where the triggered come in at. Does that make sense? And then we have the fresh start. Fresh start. You're having a fresh start by forgiving and understand. Denial, forgiving with love, and walking away. Five of Wands energy kind of comes in reverse. So the Five of Wands in reverse energy is bitter. Uh, competition, sick ambition, and untrustworthiness. So the fresh start is because you were starting to get bitter. But realize that it's never too late. It's never too late to heal. King of Cups energy is uh, only love, compassion, and understanding can truly bring you the tranquility and happiness that you seek. So remember, it's never too late. It's never too late to heal. Look, because we're clarifying healing now. You know, it's never too late to heal. You have to heal. Okay, the card that came out. These didn't fall. It's in my lap. Yeah, the moon card. You have to heal no matter what the situation is. Whatever you don't know about, the moon comes and shows its face twice. Regardless on the hidden feelings, secrets, and illusion, you still have to be the one to heal and get past this energy. The affection comes. Affection. The affection comes with the knight of cups in reverse. The knight of cups in reverse is... Um, Emptiness, empty promises, moodiness, and fantasies. You know, the affections. You know that this was an empty promise, you know, in order for this person to be with you. The new perspective. Yeah, four of pentacles. You know, now you're getting ready to get up and clean up. Four years you've been securing and limiting and conserving your energy on how you felt about the situation. The new perspective. Now you have to get up and stop soaking in your own piss. I'm sorry. And get up, clean up, and make things happen for yourself. You know, that's the perspective that you're at right now. I'm trying to make sure no other cards came out. Um, that's the perspective that you're out now. And now you're relaxing. You know, now you're relaxing. Now you're in your four swords energy. You know, you're relaxing. You're trying to see things in a different light. And therefore... Yeah, Page of Swords energy. The Page of Swords is the quick, sharp mind is one of your greatest assets. Always be alert, crystal clear, and focused on your percep perceptions. You are focused on you. The conflict comes, and the conflict comes, and the conflict goes, you know, but you have to understand how to get through that. You know, we have it with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is stress, anxiety, and hopelessness when it comes to this conflict. But at the same time, you know, the Two of Cups energy is what you want. You know, love, friendship, and a connection. So in order for that to happen, you have to release and forgive this person. This person will regret the way they treated you when you are no longer in their grasp because they only had a limited vision on how they saw things. Does that make sense? So the conflict comes in because they didn't really appreciate you when you were there. And now that you're not, they've removed their energy. Does that make sense? I just think that that is something that you need to understand that removing your energy from any negativity gives a person time and space and energy to feel like and not responding to a person gives them time and place and energy to feel understand why you're not responding, why you move, removed yourself and contemplate on how they can do things differently. That's just kind of how I see it. So that is where we are. Remember, we had 666 here. You know, we had denial. We had a breakup, you know. So I'll just go ahead and put this breakup and then 666. Remember, 666 is returning to the state of harmony and balance. And that's what this person has done because they're doing because you actually have done it and sent them healing. All right, you guys. I love you. You made it to the end and thank you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I come on. Let's say an affirmation. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and also addictions. Addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation.